What's up, everybody? Welcome, Squad Squad, and welcome to Slav Guns on Tour. We're finally sitting down for the very first time in two days, and that's because we are at the Palmetto State Armory booth. And because there's always so much stuff, you got to sit down to actually have a normal conversation about these products. Otherwise, my feet are killing me. Yep. Let's cut the short and get it over with. <laughs> so I'm joined by Steven, and we're going to be talking about the handguns. Now, for anybody who has recently become a gun owner, they probably heard of the Palmetto State Armory brand. Uh, for the, the value that you guys bring to the table on the modern sporting rifles, then a couple of years ago, you introduced the pistols with the dagger, really blew it out of the water by providing a quality pistol at prices previously really unheard of. And you guys just couldn't help yourself and just stop there and enjoy it. Um, you got to come up with more stuff. So yes, uh, walk us through it. Uh, tell us what we can be able to find and then possibly what the future holds for the company in the space. OK, so, so everybody's familiar with the, uh, the dagger. Yes. We had a compact version. Now we have a full size short frame, which will accept a flush compact slide. Yep. And now we have an X slide, which is, gives you that <clears throat> four and a half inch barrel, a little bit longer sight yep. radius if you wish. Everything is optics ready. So everybody's familiar with that. That same mojo that we had, that full gas, we just kept pushing and yep. pushing. And so now we're ready to introduce, coming this year, is our micro dagger. Yes. Our slim line would normally be a single stack in other, in other platforms, but we have a double stack magazine. This slim line will hold 15 rounds. Yeah. All the same features that you're used to seeing with your standard dagger. Metal sights, um, metal recoil rods, internals that are familiar with other, yep. other platforms. However, we listened, Ambi, Ambi um, mag release, um, so I know in the Soviet Union, if you're left-handed, I'm sorry, if you're wrong-handed, they teach it out of you. And apparently they did the same here in Catholic schools and stuff, but apparently you can't do that anymore. And we have to be acceptable of everybody. So yep. you do have Ambi. We do have Ambi. You have yep. Ambi mag release. We nope. listened. <laughs> we listened. Um, everything is going to be offered as optics cut. Okay. This is so, uh, so it's going to be, everything's going to be optics ready. Everything will be okay. optics ready from the get-go. This is the shield cut and it's... We also listen on depth of the cut. Okay. So this is a 195 depth. You can use standard iron sights, okay. the standard height sights, and it'll still be, it'll still co-witness. So you'll be able to co-witness it all yep. awesome on there. Because I mean, and it's one of the things, so uh, as a former gun gamer, it's like, you, there's definitely a need for a red dot optic. But I mean, I also think that oftentimes, especially depending on the optic that you're using, the battery could die. And like once somebody starts using an optic, it almost like you kind of become dependent on it, yeah. that it becomes a crutch. And you go out to the range, it's not unheard of for somebody to pick up a gun and say, oh my God, the red dot just died on me. And they don't know what to do. It's like yeah. they're completely lost. And oftentimes it gets this problem because you're adding a plate system, then you're adding a dot on top. And Wash basically- out your iron sights. It washes out yeah. and like you can't really use it. So at yeah. least with this, mm -hmm. if the dot goes bad, you can still use, the old fashioned way yep. and yep. use still the have everything sites. readily available for you and um, there in case of emergency. Yeah. However, now with the advancement in optics, battery life, yeah. it, that stuff, that, that stuff is kind of going away, yeah. uh, the dying out. But And if you're interested in those quality optics, we did a video uh, that's really should be posted very, very soon with Hollow Sun on a couple of those. Uh, so definitely, I know a lot of people who are buying the daggers, they love those on there. I'm sure it's going to be a good site. We'll be able to find it linked above. So, I mean, generally, so this is the micro dagger, um, primarily a carry gun, or can this be like a range gun for somebody or who's kind of like the target market for it? Everybody has their own feel, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> that will be a primarily a carry model. I assume for most people, I know that that'll be the first thing that I do with it yeah. is carry it. Uh, but in case you have others that just want a slimmer line, fuller size, fuller length pistol. We have our Micro X, okay. which has a half inch longer slide, a little over a half inch longer slide. So basically this, these two pistols are identical, yep. except this has a longer slide. Longer so slides, you, longer sight radius, so I guess, the same internal. I guess you can kind of almost think about it from perspective, like if you're a female shooter, possibly somebody with smaller hands and a typical double stack frame might be a little too much for you. Yeah. This would be a good way to go. And even for a range gun, because you have a little bit more mass, it, it would help dampen the recoil a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, absolutely well. would. Okay. And it does, yes. So what's the price point? What's the availability on this? Is this going to be something that's going to be available relatively soon? Or are people going to have to wait a couple of 
So months or years for it. What I can say about that is that the slides will be be available first. Okay. Um, full guns soon to follow. It will be this year. Okay. Um, price point to be determined, but okay. it will be PSA price point. So I mean, it's not going to be like, well. $800 no, or something no, no, ridiculous no, like that. No, that, what I can speak to is yeah. for sure the manufacturing side is the cost of materials are going up. So that just, we have to stay competitive mm -hmm. um, and we still have to make margin. So uh, so I see these two are in different colors, different finishes. So you have a We're gonna black have, and then this is a two-tone. Uh, other color combinations? or Every, every color combination that you see on the 5,000 SKUs that we have on our website, Everyone will be available with the micro as well. Awesome, so very, very cool. The uh, Probably one of the coolest factors that we have with the micro is gonna be the introduction of our 15 round double stack magazine. Nice. This is PSA product. This is a metal mag mm -hmm. with a plastic over molded front so that <clears throat> any of the other magazines that you're used to seeing that give you 15 round capacity and something this size, you have to have a metal yeah. mag catch this will allow you to keep and your plastic mag catch and still use your OEM mags from other manufacturers. So, I mean, it's almost crazy to think that. So, I mean, when I became a gun owner for the first time about 15 years ago, it was like, at that point, I mean, it would be unheard of to think that you can have a magazine this small with 15 round capacity. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, I guess the magazines are going to be shipping with the guns. Yes. Uh, and I guess possibly available separately for people to order? Yes, absolutely. 100%. Okay. So. And uh, are the guns going to come out at the same time as the, I'm sorry, the mag's going to come out at the same time as the gun yeah. or possibly a little bit earlier? Or uh, hopefully, be determined. hopefully everything comes out at the same time with the with the frame. Okay. Um, but as soon as everything's ready to go, it'll be on the okay. website. So. so it seems like these micro daggers are pretty much production ready. Uh, but I know with PSA, there's always something to, little, to look forward to. Yep. Uh, obviously, last year we had uh, the Rock, which just kind of came out of the left field. Uh, any surprises this year or anything cool we can look forward to? Yeah, so this would be introducing the world's first compact 5.7. Okay. So we went over and above with our magazine last yeah. year. 23 round capacity is the highest capacity magazine available for a 5.7. Our compact will still have a 20 round capacity, but I don't have another one to compare it to, but the grip size. Yeah. With the micro. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to compare those two. So it has a 4.4 um, a inch barrel versus the 4.8, mm -hmm. 4.7 on the other. Uh, the shorter grip. <clears throat> Again, optics ready. Okay. Uh, the same, the same shield cut footprint okay. on the slot itself with the, with the two other plates systems. So you could put RMR footprint, doctor footprint, yeah. those items on the gun. So that's the that's the first one in existence. So I guess kind of like, what was this an answer to? I mean, how did somebody kind of come up with this or like, was it a product? I what? wish that I could do one of those like overlays on your thing right now and show all the tweets and comments on <laughs> Facebook. Uh, all of the different social media that says, can we get a compact, 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 yeah. five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. So uh, it's been asked for for a long time yeah. from other companies as well. And it just, for the longest time, everybody said it couldn't be done just because of how the gun operates. Yeah. The five, seven be such a high pressure round. Um, so it's been, it's been interesting to test it and get it to the point where it is now. We're excited. That one does not have a release date yet. Okay. That is still in concept. Uh, we're proving some things out with it, but Keep your eyes on the website and in the forums. Yeah. We will definitely be yeah. pushing that. And even though, like, I personally, I'm not a huge proponent of hunting with the 5.7, I know there's a bunch of people who are using it more or less as a defensive round, uh, or if they still have some old stockpiles of some certain FN ammo back before it was banned. Yep. Uh, I guess this would be a good answer for somebody who possibly wants to either open carry or concealed carry. Absolutely. Something in 5.7 by 28, but doesn't want to have something like it's completely standard the full, full size. Full size, yeah. Nice. Uh, so hopefully in the near future, I guess we were not, we really don't know date wise, but no. it look, I guess we're closer to being completed than brand new. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The good thing is, is that we've got a good team of core engineers that are able to help us kind of push these products further and okay. reach the limits of 
uh, the cartridge and items like that. Okay. So. And so from what I understand, for most people, this would be big enough as it is. Um, it's not enough for you guys and you have something else as well. Now, one other thing I'll touch yep. on that is we are, everybody knows we have our own ammo company yes. now. So the availability of ammo is going to increase very shortly at a much better PSA friendly price range. I'm sorry, what's the matter? You don't want people to pay over a dollar around for five, seven? <laughs> oh, it, hel it helps move move everything. Yeah. So. And, and, you, and you know what, you definitely see a big tick because I mean like five, seven by 28 is a fantastic round, but I mean, let's be honest, the ammo is like stupid expensive, yeah. and especially when, kind of when you factor it, it's like, it's a small round, but the ammo is more than like paying for 44 Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely very, very cool. I know like with the ammo coming online, that should hopefully bring the ammo back to more reasonable prices for people. Absolutely. And I guess instead of the chicken or the egg, it's a symbiotic relationship. It'll help, the ammo is gonna help drive the gun sales and the gun sales will help drive the ammo sales Absolutely. as well. Very, very cool. All right, All right. We think of everything, we try to anyway. Absolutely. So moving on to something else that's another concept gun, yeah. just like the 5.7 Compact. This is our new switch. Okay. So everybody's kind of familiar with chassis guns now that yep. are being brought out to the market. This is our answer. Okay. So as modular as we like to make, everything is build your own. Build your own dagger yep. and build your own rock. It will be build your own micro. Nice. Taking that to the next level is our chassis system. Okay. So the fire control unit mm -hmm. is what's gonna be the serialized component. Got it. Multiple different frame sizes, shapes, uh, colors, materials. Mm -hmm. So all of those different factors are going to make it as universal as an AR-15 yeah. lower. And so that's what we're, that's what we're really driving for. If you look at our business model and what the company was yeah. born in and how it got to the size that it is now, AR-15. Yeah. Let's do the same thing with a pistol. Absolutely. And I guess like, uh, so we have a lot of viewers still coming from gun control states and kind of like, I was, so for a different project, I was doing a doing a research project, looked at some statistics and like you gun that. owners that are fortunate enough to live in, I guess what we consider free America. Yeah. So like North Carolina, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, for, for the most part, uh, we can pretty much have anything gun related that we want. And we poke fun of people, quote unquote, who live behind enemy lines. But when you look at it, it's like more than 40% of gun owners in the population lives in some states with gun control. Absolutely. Where you either have pistol permits or you have rosters that you got to deal with. And I guess the modularity with like a chassis system really is the answer to those questions because you literally have one serialized part and you can have, quote unquote, four or five different com variations of a firearm. Absolutely with just one unit. Yep. And I guess, is that who you're targeting or? <laughs> We're targeting everybody. Everybody. Yes, that, that help, that's going to help those states as well. Yep. Um, but the, the build your own, the build your own guys who are really going for a guy and girl. Um, great thing is it takes all of our current dagger slides. Awesome, okay. So if somebody basically, so it's a different, it's a completely different unit, different grip frames. Yep. But if somebody already has a couple of dagger pistols or some other Gucci stuff, Correct. they'll be able to run it. With. And trigger packs are the same. Okay. So frame internals aren't identical, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of Gen 3 components. Okay. That kind of stuff that we're that we currently use now, that design, that's all going to fit within our within that frame. So this uh, this switch that you handed me, it looks like it has a nice heavy frame. It looks like it's metal. Yep, so um, it's an are, aluminum frame. Are they all gonna be aluminum or is it gonna be polymer options as well? Polymer or? options. Okay. So that's what I was stating before yeah. with the different materials, right? So we had, that's aluminum right now. Yep. That will be in the future. We'll have plastic. Okay. Um, and maybe other, a couple, a couple other different options that I'm not going to show uh, yeah. share with you right now. Well, I mean, basically, they, I mean, the possibilities are basically endless. I mean, when you have endless. one unit, you can build anything you want. I Absolutely. mean, so if somebody really wanted, like, I guess a 10 millimeter, you could probably do something yeah. like that as well with and it. So that that will go with many different sizes. Okay. That's just the first one. Okay. So then our and concepts will go what type that. of magazines? Is this going to be proprietary magazines? Is it going to be compatible with something that's already on the market? It uses everything current dagger. Also, so the, the P mags are what will ship with it. Okay. Other, so other really what you're doing well. is you're taking the dagger ecosystem and making it into a modular platform. Yes. Yep. 
Very, very cool. Um, any rough, I mean, so obviously the combinations are going to be endless. Um, any rough ideas of what your, I guess, targeted price points or the range that it could be in for the various combinations? Or still probably, I mean, I'm sure working with aluminum is going to be different than working with polymer. Yeah, so, so it's forth. just like a billet AR-15. Yeah. Lower is a little more expensive, so the aluminum model will be more. Okay. Uh, your, your, full, your full metal frame. Yeah. Once we move into the polymer, that'll bring some of the yeah. price down. And I guess basically, since the slides are going to be compatible with the daggers right now, I mean, that's pretty much already established what that's going yep. to be. Very, very cool. And you know, we got to ask, people will be asking any rough expectations of when a system such as this might be hitting the market. There is no date at the right. moment. I would not be surprised if it could happen by the end of the year. Yeah. But with, with the other projects that we have that we're pushing, Absolutely. pushing, pushing, I can't say that it would definitely be 2023. Yeah, but there's a possibility. And I'm sure basically kind of like from the company perspective is, I mean, this is what the, I mean, you have the industry here, yes, and everyone from the media to the buyers, and the guns are here kind of to gauge people's interest almost at the same time. Yeah, that's a lot of what we do. So just like the 5.7 Compact, it helps what you guys say, we listen. That's exactly why the 5.7 you know, came from what it was. We put the Ambi mag releases yep. and things like that. We, we really do listen. We follow the forums and... Uh, the YouTube comments, it's its crazy what we see. What and we I'm see. sure definitely, so make sure you comment, and I'm sure we're going to have more information at the, at the gathering event in a couple yes, of months. Uh, so hopefully we get more clarity, but I'm sure this is going to be blowing up. I mean, the fact that you can get a modular platform, and I can think of one others, and we actually featured them on the channel a couple of years ago. But I mean, those are like four or five times more expensive than a dagger could be. So even if this is, this is most certainly gonna be, he's not gonna say it, but this will most certainly be a bit more expensive because there's more machining, more technology that goes into this, but it's still gonna be substantially less than the other stuff that's Absolutely. available on the market. And the aftermarket components that are available to fit. Very, Second very nice. Done. Very, very nice. So this is the new switch. That's the switch. That's. Yep. Very easy to remember. So definitely got a lot of really, really cool guns. Let me know what you think. I mean, are you interested in the new micro daggers? I'm sure these are gonna be a hit based on how, the, how much of a hit the daggers are. And would you carry something like this versus a regular dagger? I know some people like more larger guns, some people prefer smaller guns. And let me know which of these guys you are most interested in picking up. As always, Steven, thank you very much Appreciate for taking it. the time to Absolutely. talk to us. Some demoing these guns for us and thank you guys for watching keep on squatting and we'll see you in the next videos linked up here very very cool